In my last couple of video, I show you how to create dependent drop down in Excel as well as in Google Sheet. After that, I create a video smart conditional formatting for drop down in Excel, which actually hide the mismatch value to avoid misunderstanding in our data set. After that, many people ask how to develop smart conditional formatting for Google Sheet dependent drop down. No further ado, let's go together to learn the basic concept. Consider we have this sheet on which I develop only dependent drop down. Now, for example, I select Asia, it will show me the country related to Asia. And if I change Asia to let's say Africa, it will show only the country related to Africa based on this list we have. And if I select, let's say, any of Africa country, it will show only me the city related to this country. So this is how our dependent drop down is working. If I develop a formula here again, equal x match for the search key, I will use country and city since I want to apply first conditional formatting on city column. So I will select simply D3 and percent E3. In this case, I will hit F4 key three times to log the column reference. So if I hit F4 key one time, then on second time, it will log the row reference. And on third time, it will log the column reference. I will do same for the D3. So simply click on D3 using mouse hit a four key three times. I will hit comma and I will just go to lookup range. So lookup range is my drop down table. I will simply go to drop down table. First, I will select the whole column B. So I will simply click on B. It will select the entire column and percent and I will simply select C and this will select entire column comma. For the match mood in this case, I will simply type zero exact match close the bracket hit enter and this will return an result. the reason it in google sheet we must need to type control shift enter to apply array formula or we need to manually write array formula open close parenthesis but simple is that when you complete your formula just use control shift enter and this will automatically write array formula and hit enter I will not accept the suggestion, so I will simply reject it. Now, this return a number whenever these two match found anywhere on drop down. For any reason, if I change country to another country, this will return me any result because these two combinations are not found anywhere in this table, and that's why we see any error. If I write is number function here, is number open parenthesis, close parenthesis, hit enter. This will return me false whenever there is no combination found on drop down table. And if I select city based on selected country, it will return me true because these two combinations found anywhere on drop down table. Now conditional formatting rule work whenever the result is true. Actually, we want this to be false. So simply we apply the not function. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis, hit enter. After applying the not function, we get false result instead of true. And what this false mean now? If the result is false, mean this combination is found anywhere on drop down. For any reason, if I change country to let's say any other country, it will return me true. Mean these combination are not found anywhere in the table. And the true is very important. Because conditional formatting rule work whenever the result is true. And in this case, we get a true result. So we want to hide this city. So this is all about the concept. If I just copy all of the formula, control C, select E3 and I will select all of the rows. I want to apply conditional formatting. But of course, we can update this range later as well. Go to format, conditional formatting, format rule. And in this case, I will select custom formula control v and you can say this is invalid formula of course our formula is working fine but in conditional formatting this formula is not working so what is the reason actually the reason is conditional formatting is not accepting reference to another sheet so in this case we are referencing to drop down table and that's why this formula is not working in conditional formatting so what we need to do to work this formula in our drop down for Google Sheet. If I just cancel conditional formatting and I just go to the formula again, we need to convert these reference to indirect reference. 
so how we can do it it's very simple just write quotation mark at the start and at the end before first quotation mark write indirect open parenthesis after quotation mark close parenthesis and i will do the same for this drop down table column c so write indirect double click to select indirect quotation mark and after c i will use quotation mark again close the bracket hit enter this will return me the same result but now this formula will work in our conditional formatting so i will simply copy this whole formula Control c select e3 to e17 add another rule custom formula Control v to paste our formula in this case i want no fill and for the text color i will choose white color hit done and this is how we can apply conditional formatting for ct column now for any reason i change germany to let's say italy it will hide this row because this city are going to mismatch with country name now we will apply the conditional formatting for country and city both whenever the continent are mismatch so in this case i will update the same formula a little bit and then use another conditional formatting rule so instead of d i will use c and instead of e i will use d instead of drop down table column b i will use a and instead of drop down column c i will use column b since on our drop down table column a is continent column b is country and i will just hit enter Control c to copy all of the formula in this case i will select two column so i will simply select d and e add another rule custom formula Control v in this case fill color to none text color will be white hit done now for any reason i change africa to let's say asia it will hide those two values now in this case the country and city are going to match but if i change the continent to let's say south america it will hide both value because they are going to mismatch and this is how we can develop this amazing conditional formatting rule in google sheet now the last thing how you can update the conditional formatting range as per my last video how we can develop in excel so simply click on the cells on which you have applied conditional formatting or select both column to see both conditional formatting rules simply click and from here you can simply update the range as per your own range you have simply hit done click on another conditional formatting rule remove the seven increase the range to thousand row hit done now of course how you can move the conditional formatting up and down like i show you in excel so simply hover the mouse over the four dot now you can see i can freely move conditional formatting rules i hope you learned something new in this video if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have time please share this video as well thank you so much